Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. We are back in the UK. I'm gonna absolutely grind my ass off because in September I'm 100% moving to Dubai. If you guys wanna come with me, let me know in the comments. And I'll fly some of you out there for like a few weeks to stay at my place or I'll get your own place. And I think that'd be quite lit. If, especially if you're a trader as well, we can do some trades together. You know, read some charts live. So let me know in the comments. Subscribe, like this content if you are new around here. Your boy is going to be talking about why you keep failing FTMO challenges. If you're an FTMO person who keeps buying these expensive challenge accounts and failing, you know, we're going to go into it because the fact of the matter is they want you to fail. They don't want you to pass. There was someone who withdrew $500,000 on FTMO. That is absolutely crazy. Shout out to that guy, man, because that's insane. Some guys literally just made with the profit split about 400K withdrawing it into his bank account and obviously that's one of the highlights of taking these challenges that's how much you can really make if you hit your trades and get fortunate let's say the least um I'm not too sure what that guy actually did i would be interested to see the videos but we're going to talk about not this guy we're going to talk about him in a bit however why why you and even why i have failed challenges and it boils down to it depends how how desperate you want it let's say Without being harsh, even for myself, you know, I remember I took three months every single day training FTMO and I didn't go to the gym, I didn't look after myself, I was getting, I was getting fat, I was just grinding man, I was just grinding and it, it played a massive mental impact and then when I got the challenge account, when I got the, sorry, the live account, 400k, when I got the 400k live account, it was probably one of the best moments of my life because it's one of those things where you set yourself a goal and you want to achieve that goal and then when you achieve it it's like holy holy shit but this is the big but but for myself when i completed ftmo and got my 400k funded account combined with the 200ks i was like what's next you know make money made money i was like what's next and like now i've learned it's just about enjoying the process of trading it's like every single day just feel blessed to be alive feel blessed that you can trade full time and that's one of the biggest things that i've learned within the last two years of trading full time it's like you can have highs you can have lows but even on the lows you know just brush it off and enjoy yourself enjoy life life is too short to worry about a trade that didn't go well life's too short to worry about losing a challenge account and this is why i wanted to make a video because a lot of people are spending high amounts of money on these challenge accounts and they're expensive you know that's why you need to go to the forex funder but they are expensive and just because you can trade or just because you can hit a five ten percent trade doesn't mean you can trade consistently think about this right this is facts you do a challenge account phase one do a challenge account phase two you get the funded account guess what the funded account is because you can't get your refund after you've hit profit. So technically, you've not got to pass one, not two, but three challenge accounts until you even get your money back, let alone if you've even made profit or not. So like when you actually think about that, how crazy that is, because there's going to be so many people right now watching this that are failing within two or three days. And my friends, if you're failing in two or three days, get in TJFX free trades. Trade 0.5% per each position. There's a reason why. You get emotional. You're rushing your trades and you just need to gain experience with trading and understand that it's a marathon, not a sprint. You've got to relax. You've got to relax. You need to be able to trade for a longevity amount of time. You know, it's about consistency. It really is. And like I just said, the funded accounts are no different. So you're rushing to get funded. That does not mean you will make money. It doesn't mean you're going to make money. Honestly, like just because you got that account means nothing. So with these phases, you can't keep failing them. You have to use 0.5%. If you enter a trade and it hits a sell, walk away. Walk away. Come back another day. Come back another day because you are going to just keep hitting SLs. And obviously, there's loads of different types of trading. You know, you can scalp, you can swing. There's day trading. You can even hold trades overnight. But the fact of the matter is, you can't over trade and you need to be consistent. That's using the same SLs. That's moving, not moving, sorry. That's not moving your SLs and over leveraging the account. That's not entering 2% on one currency pair. Biggest mistake people make in this industry. They don't just enter 1% because 1%, some reason in the human brain, you just ain't happy. 
you just ain't happy with risking 1%. So you're going to risk 2%. You're going to risk 3%. And then you're just you're just literally shooting yourself in your own foot. It's something like 99.2% of people pass these challenges. Now, that's a big, big percent that do not pass. And even when you do pass, that does not mean you're a success successful trader. Just because you can get 10, 5% on phase one and two, that means nothing. To get 15%, it isn't hard, but to be consistently good is even harder, you know. Shout out to LP Trading, Glory, FX. These people, you know, they're getting on these challenge accounts and they are smashing, you know, five, six, seven, eight months of profit. Eight months of profit. They are consistent traders. They have developed a skill. They have continued to just keep developing and learning the process of trading and they enjoy the process which allows them to be more successful if you are desperate right desperate to pass you're already straight away you're putting too much pressure on yourself to pass these accounts and that's why you're failing there's too much pressure you need to relax yes money is a big factor but however you gotta understand you've got to lose some to win some and that's just in life you take risks in life with trading you enter your own trades or someone else's trade, you are risking money, you're risking real money. And if it was your own money, let's say you have got 200K of your own money, would you be sick losing 3% in one pair? Yes, you would be sick. Just because it's a challenge does not mean you need to look at it like it's a challenge. You need to treat it like it's a real deal. You need to treat it like, get a book out, write your trading plan down, literally trading plan, risk manage, 0.5% max, only trade twice a week, tick. There's so many ways that you can continuously stay in profit consistently on a day-to-day -day basis that a lot of people don't do. And if you wanna be a trader and wanna take this stuff seriously, then you have to start taking the right steps in being successful because there's so much to it. Just because you see someone flexing a car, flexing a watch, that they're all materialistic. It doesn't matter what you have, what materialistic things you got. If you've got a million pound account, two million pound account, you're making insane amounts of money. You don't need to, that, being a good trader isn't materialistic stuff. Like it's, it's not, you know? And also like, you don't have to buy in to materialistic traders just because someone's got a 50 grand watch on. Who even knows if that's from trading? You need to just be, spend time, if you're following other people, observe what they're doing, check their trades on the charts, learn the charts, you know. You can pay for other people's sessions, whatever, do what you want, but you don't need to pay. You just need to learn it on your by yourself. You follow these people, you don't take their trades as such, but when, when you think they've got a good trade because you've done the analysis too, and you take both sides of the story, a lot of people are so, I, I, wouldn't, I don't want to say self-centered, but like, they just don't hear other people's opinions. And when looking at a chart, you need to look at the pros and cons of trading on the, the you know the pair that you want to trade for example you want to go for a buy let's see how it's a sell let's see the how it's a sell first you know i think it's a buy but let's see if i can see an analysis for a sell analysis so you double take yourself so you are you you are your worst enemy because you can either shoot yourself in the foot or you can be disciplined and correct yourself and be hard on yourself and that is the whole point of trading you know it's it's risk to reward, it's getting the right trades, the right entries, but it's also being good with your psychology and emotions throughout the trades and just knowing how to trade successfully and on a consistent basis. And the people that are failing these accounts, because I failed them too, I fail the accounts when I'm risking 2% on a pair. I'm failing the accounts when I keep entering on the same day. And then there's a day where I'm like minus four, minus five. And this is such a big thing. People take these accounts, Okay, I have to speak on behalf of everyone. And you are thinking in your heads, I can get minus five in a day, that's fine. It's not fine, it's not fine. Minus 0 0.5 in a day is okay. But it's still, you know, it's still 20 days and you blow the you blow the challenge, you know. If you lose 20 days in a row, you blow the challenge. So you need to change the mindset of, of their rules as such and go, I only can give myself 0.5% max loss a day. As there will be a lot of people that will be saying, Okay, I've got minus 5% in the day, but no, don't treat it like that. They're just rules in place because you've got to get so much percent to pass. You've got to just do make your own rules within the challenge and that is how you become successful. Guys, if you like this video, like, subscribe, check out my goal group and also the free trades. I'm going to make some videos on my goal group. Now I'm back in the UK because obviously the profits have been insane. Last week we took an L, about minus 6-7%. Yeah, boom, new week, it's Wednesday morning today. Monday night, Tuesday morning, we make about, let's see, about 20%. I'm gonna say it's 20%, but it could be about 17. Let's say 15, 20%.
within 24 hours, that's risking 1% as well. So that's just how I do it. That's how I trade. And now I probably won't trade for the end of the week. I'll look to wait for my setups as well. Um, for example, if there's a sell, I won't enter that. I'll see if I can get a buy, wait for the buy, set the buy limit and boom, straight in. Remember to get good entries, stay blessed, stay disciplined and until on the next video because I'm uploading one every few days on the main channel now and one every three days on the reacts, links in the description. It's been your boy TJ, much love and the support, this shit's popping. Anyway, peace.